Welcome to Maximising Efficiency with Dex. Today, I'm joined by Grace Rutherford, one of our account managers here at Dex. Today, we're talking about expense claims. We all know that Dex is the perfect solution for managing your business expenses, but some people don't realise that within your Dex platform, you also can manage your employee expenses effortlessly as well. So what you're aware of is here we are. Just share my screen, we're into the Dex inbox. And to add a document into my Dex inbox, we have a multiple array of methods. We can upload them from our computer. We can invoice fetch, which means we can connect our Dex to our supplier invoice portal. So every time a bill gets uploaded to your uh, supplier portal, Dex will go and grab it out for you and start to process it before publishing it into your accounting software. We have mileage, which is not quite here yet, but it's on the way. We can send our invoices into Dex via um, an email. So we have your email attachments or within the body of an email, you send that email to your personalized email address within Dex, we can get it. But what's really useful is the snap on mobile. So especially for your staff who are out and about, whether they've just got some lunch, they've taken a client out for some entertaining, you can use that app to snap your receipt on the go and add them to your expense claims so that your employer can reimburse them. So what we can do is when an item comes into your cost inbox, you can select the ones that aren't business expenses. These are employee expenses that an employee has paid privately. We can click this button here, add to expense claim. We can add it to who, which user's expense claim you want to add it to, put the date, put a name of that expense claim and we can add it into there. However, this is quite a manual process. We're having to mix our cost items in together with our employee um, expenses and things can get missed. Before you know it, we can have an employee expense claim invoice going onto our purchase ledger and the business paying for it again, even though the employee has already paid for it and it gets an all a bit complicated. So I'm going to jump into our expense claims inbox here. Grace, is there a better way of handling uh, employee expenses? Yes, Max, there actually is. Something that we use internally at DEX, so if we have any expenses that we need to claim back, we set up auto expense claims. So if you click on tools, manage auto expense claims, it used to be known as effortless expense reports, but now it's renamed. You can see here it says current claim ends 31st of October 2024. So what you're doing here and then just underneath that frequency is you're setting how regular you want the auto expense reports to be made for you. So if you click on the drop down, you can see you can set weekly, fortnightly or monthly. So currently we've got monthly set. It just means that every month a new expense claim will be created and the previous expense claim will be ended. Um, and then what you'll see here is users. So what you can do is select the users that you want to be submitting into the expense claim. So typically here, what you can see is Max Whiteley expenses and then a normal Max Whiteley user. So what we've done here is set up a separate expense user because when you use that expense user, everything that is sent through into Dext is automatically added into their expense claim. So we want to separate if they've got any other costs that they need to add in. Amazing. So I think this is something that people obviously won't be too aware of. And this was a little workaround that I did in practice. So as Grace just mentioned there, we have two users there for me. So if I was like a director of a business, I was using Dex to upload business expenses, but also I had personal incurred expenditure there as well. Then, you know, things can get mixed up. So what you can do within our user setting here is within, we've also got two users here. This one has been set up with my normal email address, so max.whiteley at dext.com. However, I can't then go and set up another user with that email address. And back in the day, people used to do workarounds and they put things like fake mail in there. And it didn't quite do the job because if anything ever failed, I would get no notification because that email didn't exist. However, what you can do, and which is supported by most email addresses, is if you put after the first bit of your email address, if you just put the word plus and then any word in there what, whatsoever, this can then set up a new user. And if we have any sort of error messages or we need to warn you that something has failed, by just having that in, we will still send this email address to that email, excluding that plus button there. It just allows us to set up another user there. So Grace, I've now set that up. I've had a little bit of a work around within there. Effortless expense claims are all set up so that all my expenses get added to there. Can I now publish these into Xero? Yeah, exactly. So if you look across your top bar there, you can see publish or you can also see submit for approval. So if you need it to be approved, first of all, you can click on that button select a user within that client account if you click on publish 
now. We'll jump over to, to Zero and show you how this will appear within uh, Zero. It's obviously supported by all of our other integrations as effectively what it does is it creates just a this cost item here. And as you can see, the extension, and um, which if you're not using it, is a browser extension that lets us dock our invoices to the side. But if I zoom in on here, it's a full list of um, all of our expense claims and it also has the links to the item. So we have an expense claim here that we owe now to Paul as a total invoice instead of having all of those separate transactions clouding up our purchase ledger. But if I see his expense claim here, I can then click onto these links and it'll take me directly to the individual expense claims we've on there, giving you sort of real visibility about what is on Paul's expense claims before we pay him out um, for that expenditure. So that is expense claims. Super, super useful. There is improvements coming along um, the way around the approval settings. As you may have noticed already within costs, we now have um, approvals and which is now live within the product. So have a little play around with that, get used to that and the approval section um, within the costing box is coming shortly to our expenses. So before we ramble on too much, thank you very much for, for joining us on Maximizing Efficiency. Grace, thank you very much for sharing your wisdom and uh, hopefully we look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Cheers. Thank you.